In this video, we take a look at the Structured Query Language, or SQL for short, and how to both interpret and modify queries written using it. In order to allow for fast, efficient querying and reporting of the vast amounts of data held in relational databases, we use SQL, the Structured Query Language. Although the exact syntax of SQL differs slightly with each implementation of relational database software, the underlying principles are identical. As you know, all languages have a syntax and a number of command words. SQL is no different. Luckily for us, SQL syntax is very logical and close to English, so it's easy to learn. Consider this simple table which holds data about the rooms in a school for forms. It contains attributes form name, form teacher and form room. Imagine you were writing a procedure to delete form 9C from this table. What information would you need to supply in order to produce this algorithm? It would need to know that the intention was to delete. This would be our command word. You'd need to know the table would want to delete from, the form table. And you'd need to know which record we wanted to delete from and how to identify it. In English, we could summarise these instructions as delete from form where form name is 9C. In SQL, this becomes delete from form where form name equals 9C. Very similar indeed. You will notice how command words are written uppercase and strings are placed in single quotes. Imagine now we want to insert a new row into a table. This is what we want to happen in English. We want to insert into the form table the values 10C, Miss Badman and the teaching room B12. Pause the video for a moment and have a go at writing out the SQL. You will need to make some sensible assumptions as to how to lay out the syntax. Check the answer here and see how you did. How about simply selecting some data from a table in order to produce a report of all information about Mr Sargent's form? I'll give you a hint, you can use the wildcard character star to mean all fields. There's the answer. How did you do? Select all fields from the form table where the form teacher is equal to Mr. Sargent. Pause the video and have a go at some of these questions here. SQL is much more versatile than the simple selection of commands we've shown you so far. It can do much more than just filter data and query. It can actually be used to create databases and modify them. Some of the other commands you should be familiar with are create. This can actually be used to create tables from scratch. The syntax we're using here is from MySQL. You can see it sets up fields, says which one's the primary key, and gives the name of the fields. Uh, inserting into tables. Dropping, here we are as a table actually being removed and deleted from a database. You should look up the following SQL syntax commands. Join, order by, set, or, between and like. You should spend some time practicing these SQL operations. There are lots of free resources on the web for this.